Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. Welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today, we're going to be checking out my African cichlid tank. With little tiny shell dwellers. Multis. Let's take a closer look. Today I'd like to go over my shell dwellers. Yeah, I keep these at 78 degrees also. I have sponge filter. I also have a hang in the back filter. Um, I usually have two or three sponge filters in here, but I took the other one out. I'm seeding another tank. So I'll show you that in a little bit. All these wires, wires, I gotta get rid of these wires. That looks horrible. Maybe I should start painting my tanks, huh? Black. That would be cool. There you go. This is my African cichlid tank. These are the uh, African cichlids from Lake Tanganyika. And they're some of the smallest cichlids here. And they're Neolampagos Multifasciatas. I know the nickname is just Multis. Um, I got these at my local fish club. Bucks County Aquarium Society. Oh, I absolutely love my fish club. Um, I also have a couple of Julie's. Isn't she a pretty one? And here as well. They're both like Tanganyika. And I'll get the name of that and put that in the description. I like the other one. And I have a little, um, and they're all from Lake Tanganyika, but the, I have a little tiny cactus in here. Little tiny catfish. Oh, you see him come right out of that shell? You're so cute. Little Julie over there. Um, the catfish is a pinctus catfish. I believe that's not from Africa, but they seem to all get along and he stays nice and small. So now when I move them from a 10 gallon tank, when I move them from the 10 gallon tank to this tank, I had to be very careful with each shell to make sure I kept rotating it that there was no air bubbles in it. Um, after watching a, a couple of videos, the one from Rachel O'Leary especially, she shows how to keep spinning them so that make sure that there's no air bubbles because sometimes the fish can go inside. If there's an air bubble, they'd be trapped in there or the babies would be trapped in there and they'd end up dying. So I painstakingly took each shell and spun them around and around to make sure there were no air bubbles. I love their blue eyes. Now some of these shells are escargot shells that I got on Amazon. Other shells I got at a craft store and I washed them really well. Other shells I've just picked up along the way. So now they're in this 20 long. I don't bother to aquascape it. This is one of the few tanks I don't aquascape, but I do have some java moss spinning around here. Um, they're just going to dig up whatever I plant anyway. I mean, I could probably put some stuff in potted plants, and I might do that as well. But right now, the java moss just spins in the water flow and just keeps moving. I have this piece of coral here to up the pH tad. Well, actually, the coral my girlfriend gave me, and I really liked it. She got it when she was in Hawaii a couple of years ago, and... Uh, I have another piece in another tank. I think I actually have it in my Afri other my Ambuna tank. The tanks that I like to uh, have a little bit harder, a little bit higher pH. So I hope you enjoy this tank. I really love them. Such powerful personalities, a little territorial. <laughs> they're definitely cichlids. They're just a smaller version. Let's see if I can get the catfish. Catfish isn't a cichlid, obviously. It's a catfish. Hey, buddy. They're not really camera shy, which is cool. That's a Julie DeCromis. Um, 
probably super tired. Oh, inside the flower pot is the catfish. He's swimming around in there. I guess I can't really get a good picture of him. But I think I got one before and I'll try to put that in on top of it. So this is my 20 gallon long shell dweller tank. Hopefully I'll be able to start a community with them. If not, I might have to get some more females. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm going to give it a little while. They just got into a new tank, so I don't, I'm not expecting anything right now. Hopefully I'll get some good ones of the catfish. So this is my little Lake Tanganyikan tank. Now there's much larger fish from like the, this uh, African lake. It's just not, I just don't have them. <laughs> These are the ones that I have. And I like it. Maybe, I, maybe I'll do my Ambuna tank next week. Thanks for checking out my channel and thanks for checking out my Tuesday's tank. Tanks. <laughs> I think I'm so clever. <laughs>